time, the U.S. had a really good look at a solar eclipse was back in 1979. So you can understand mm -hmm. why so many people plan on hitting the road to get the best place to see it. Mm -hmm. And that has certain cities really counting down the days and the hours because of the crowds they're going to be seeing flow in to see the eclipse. And this is the NASA countdown to the solar eclipse. <laughs> NASA says Hopkinsville, Kentucky, only about four hours from here, is a top viewing spot, which makes it a top destination Monday. This is the best picture we've had yet. That was 1979. This is now. Hopkinsville, Kentucky is rolling out the welcome map for anyone who wants to see the 2 minute 40 second total solar eclipse. That could mean maybe 100,000 sun worshipers visiting the tiny town. Wow. So what what are you anticipating? Well, the thing that we're anticipating most is, is a lot of congestion uh, due to obviously the amount of people that are going to be here. His Hopkinsville Police Department, along with county and state agencies, will have eyes on traffic and crowds to keep roads clear for first responders. In Tennessee, the Department of Transportation has even taken to social media with reminders for people hitting the roads. It is illegal to park on the shoulders of the interstates and state highways for any reason other than an emergency. Folks will be parking at Hopkinsville area hotels, motels, and B&Bs. Hope you made your reservation. So you want a room at the Futrell House. Sorry, it's booked. A nearby Super 8, same story there. And America's Best Value Inn already has plenty of takers. You guessed it, no room at the inn. We checked, and the few places that do have rooms are charging big bucks. We saw rates as high as $749 a night. One proprietor we spoke with via FaceTime got calls about this four years ago. What did they ask? If I had any vacancies for August 2017, and I started laughing. He never booked them, but he is hosting two Cincinnati couples, a micro part of the masses, keeping one employee very busy. A solar eclipse coordinator. Is that on her business card? She has been called the uh, princess of darkness because of, uh, of, of this event that's happening. So she has um, been staying busy day in and day out. What word to the wise would you have for somebody from our neck of the woods who's anticipating coming to Hopkinsville. One word, one word only, patience. A very good word because of all the traffic. He told me NASA first contacted them a decade ago about the solar eclipse, so they are ready, he says. But he also says they're ready for August 22nd when it's over. Nine on your side and ABC News will have special coverage of the eclipse for you Monday. Join us for two hours of live coverage starting at one o'clock as the moon's shadow races across the country. And we'll show you how people here are watching this extraordinary phenomenon.